everybody and welcome back to our channel. I promised you all that I would do a time lapse of the stars before Christmas. As it stands it looks like we're going to be leaving early so I do not have too many more nights to do this to pull this off. As you can clearly tell I'm back up here on Clary Hill and it's not dark yet so I was able to show you some of this before it gets too dark. I'm actually going to shoot two time lapses hopefully tonight. The first one I'm going to do is the sunset. There's clouds in the sky, so I'm not sure how much starry night I'm going to get. But if I don't get the starry night, maybe I can at least get the sun setting. So we're back up here on Clary Hill. It is exactly, according to my car, it is 14 degrees, which I suspect it's actually a little colder than that up here. As you can tell, I am completely bundled up. And frankly, I need to put a hat on and put my hoodie over that and put on a little bit thicker gloves and I'll be just fine. But uh, it is really cold out here today, but it is extremely beautiful. So I'm very excited to capture this for you all and I hope it really turns out beautiful. Just like the previous episode where I tried to do a time lapse, I'm gonna put a fresh battery in my camera here and as you can see behind me, that's sort of the picture that I'm going to capture. I'm going to switch lenses and get to taking pictures, whereas this is video, obviously. My goal is to try to get about 10 seconds worth. So if you break down 24 frames a second, I need to take at least 240 photos to capture 10 seconds worth of time-lapse footage. And I'm probably going to drag this out over a longer period of time. So instead of doing four seconds, I'm probably going to do like an interval of maybe eight to ten seconds for each shot. It doesn't get much more beautiful than this. All of the colors back here behind me in the sky are just jaw-dropping. So, wow, it's cold. My car is still running because I'm going to be going in and out of the car because it's just genuinely that cold. My, my, you couldn't get a more perfect night for this sort of thing. And uh, I don't know if any of you are out there aspiring to be photographers, landscape, or wedding, or just general photographers taking photos for her family members and friends. But if you're anything like me, if you ever get into it, you're gonna be hooked completely. I grew up enjoying all things outdoors, so hunting, fishing, if it was an outdoor related task, I probably enjoyed it to some degree. But there is nothing that I've ever done that I've enjoyed any more than photography. There's just something about it that captivates me. It sort of pulls in everything that I love about nature and about the creation that God has so majestically put in place for us to enjoy to just simply being in places of quiet solitude and photography sort of gives me that excuse so it's sort of a means to an end it gets me out there anyway uh, we're gonna sit here and wait and let it get darker and darker it's 410 right now and my hand is still not thawed out so all these clouds are probably the prelude to the nor'easter that's coming in, which is a major storm. And I'm not sure how bad we're going to get it, but they're saying that it's supposed to be snowing all day tomorrow. Our Christmas is getting really close. We're going to celebrate early because we are going to go to Georgia early. It's another day, as you can clearly tell. We've had a major snowstorm since the last time we were together, and that storm is in a vlog that will be coming out after this video. I shot it yesterday, and I was editing and realized that, you know, I need to make a special time-lapse video for YouTube, so that's what I'm doing today. I'm gonna actually shoot another time-lapse, 
and I hope you like that last time lapse where the sun was setting. Uh, with all the clouds in the sky, there was no way I was gonna get stars uh, that particular night, so I did the sunset and that was it. But I'm gonna do another sunset up here. I'm on another ridge about 20 minutes away from where we were, and I wanted to stop here as I was driving up the ridge. I saw all these beautiful, beautiful pines and all the snow that was still on them. I actually had to turn around and come back to show you all uh, because it's just that beautiful. It's just mesmerizing to me. For someone that didn't live in the north and didn't see sort of this scenery growing up, what you see behind me and frankly around me, uh, this is what really captures my attention here. Whereas maybe a local, they would just brush it off. So these are the things that I never saw that matter to me more. Not that anybody here wouldn't say this is absolutely drop dead gorgeous, because they would. They would say that absolutely. I think altogether we ended up having about a foot of snow. And again, that's the video coming after this one. There's a lot going on in that video. Me and Simeon are riding the four wheeler and then I drop him off and I go to riding some more and we check out a stream that's frozen over. So if you like what you're watching, stay tuned and subscribe and wait for that video that's coming out. But for now, let's get that time lapse shot. say we have to hurry we don't have much time we really don't the sun's already gone down so we're really running out of time all right guys so I am actually on top of Clary Hill now which is a completely different hill or mountain it's not really a mountain but you know it's nighttime pitch black dark out there the moon is over here I'm gonna shoot this direction and I'm going to get stars and by the way I can see a couple of planets over here it looks to be I guess Mars and Saturn happened to run into a elderly couple that had made mention of a crossing of paths of two planets tonight and it looks to be right over here I may try to take a picture of that and then I'm gonna do a starry night time-lapse so I'm getting it I'm getting it for you all, everybody. I'm kind of excited. So let's get going. It is super cold out there. And I'm going to come back to the car and let it just do its thing. i got to put a new battery in. We're going to have a great night time lapse. Now, the best time lapses at night are ones that last for hours. I'm not going to be out here for hours. I'm going to be out here for, I don't even know. I probably won't even be out here an hour. So whatever we get is what we get, okay? I am i don't have the time to uh, sit out here overnight. Sorry married man with a baby, so. 